Hey YouTube, RV Safari here. We're here in Flemingsburg, Kentucky, picking up my son from the military adventure camp, which is here in, uh, I guess it's northeastern Kentucky. He was here for a month and really enjoyed himself. It's really a beautiful spot, very rural. People were super nice and he had a great time. They call it uh, Camp Sousley. Private Sousley was a Marine during World War II who was one of the flag raisers on Iwo Jima. Private Sousley was killed by an enemy sniper a month after he raised the flag on Iwo Jima and never really got to appreciate his success. But this uh, camp honors his memory and his accomplishments and the accomplishments of those who fought and died with him and those who survived. It's hard to think about a guy coming from a small town like this to become a hero in Iwo Jima, half a world away. There's a residence of Commander Whitehead, the headmaster of the military camp. Here's the mess hall. There's rooms above the mess hall and uh, we were actually able to stay there last night while we were picking up our son, which was super nice. Over here behind the van, you see the snack shack. It's a very important part of any uh, military style camp. Here's a flagpole. And going around here are um, the barracks of the students. Behind me over here is the classroom. It's a large classroom. This was the former Mount Hope uh, church camp. The military adventure camp apparently has purchased this 51 acre camp and they, uh, this is their first year on this site. But they've done a great job getting it ready for the camp and my son really enjoyed it. Here's a close up of the barracks. Here's a sick call barracks. They have some barracks where the uh, cadre stay, the instructors. And down here on the right is the barracks for the students. One of the stated goals of this military camp is to give the campers a lifelike military uh, experience. This is a camp for uh, people looking for that experience. It's not a camp for uh, at-risk youth or kids who've had problems, although occasionally they do send a, a kid home who has a problem here, or cannot comply or will not comply with the regulations that they have and safety regulations and personal habits regulations. But in any case, uh, I will say that this camp is uh, pretty realistic. I think it gives you the good experience, although uh, when I was in the Army, we didn't really have any playgrounds in the camps, but uh, there are some younger kids visiting, picking up their siblings, and uh, they have a little play playground for them. So there's the barracks for the students. They put about uh, 10 kids on either side of that barracks. There's uh, side A and B. And of course there's separate uh, living quarters for the uh, female cadets. Here I am at the other end of the camp, or the other, other end of the, of the developed camp. You can see at the uh, top of the little ridge there, there's some RV spots. Uh, looks like there's some power and sewer hookups. Possibly if you came by with your child to drop off or pick up, you could park your RV there. Here's another view of the barracks. They're uh, coming into view right there in the center. More barracks across there. And then future plans um, are for this building here in the center to be a uh, motel for parents picking up or dropping off their children. Here's a rifle range. They took a tractor and dug out a uh, portion of this field and used the diggings as a backdrop. A backstop for the bullets. So here's a rifle range from the side. Looks like it's about 50 meters long. They fire what look like to be M4s, although they're adapted to fire 22s. They do some static firing, but they also have some scenarios where they go from cover to cover, shooting at targets there back against the berm. So they have live fire movement drills, which is excellent. They go to a different range, a uh, 
a bit longer range and fire actual M4s, which is a 223 caliber, 5.56 NATO caliber. And they also apparently got to shoot the uh, H&K MP5 nine millimeter. Again, on a little bit bigger range with a little bit uh, more robust backstop. They've also uh, have airsoft guns that they use for close quarters training. So this really was a great experience for my son. He really enjoyed it. This is the military adventure camp in Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Why is RV Safari filming this here? We are on our way to Italy and this is one of the stops. Hopefully uh, you enjoy the rest of these series of our travel to Italy and back.